keep me in your side. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let's see, is anybody here yet? Um, why isn't this thing? Live chat, there we go. Alrighty, uh, why doesn't this want to show me the live chat once again? Hold on, I messed up. Can, how is the audio? Can, to the people who are here, can you hear me okay? Like, ugh. I've got so much stuff on the table that I can't see anything. Okay. Let's see. Ah, too many screens. Okay. Audrey, hello. Uh, when, when did he must, when did he must, hello. Can you all hear me okay? <laughs> oh, why can't, uh, there we go. All right, Hannah says it is perfect. Wendy says audio is good. All righty, I'm seeing a what's up, bitches? Ah, Jin is here, okay. Like, I couldn't read it on the screen there. Hello, Jin. Hello, 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 hello. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I wasn't sure if anyone's gonna wanna show up because I had, like, just packages. So, like, um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep it moving. So, I purchased a lot of things recently. And I also got a couple of things in PR. So basically what you're seeing on this pile here is these are KB Shimmer. This one right here is KB Shimmer. Then I have um, stuff that I purchased from the Zoya sale that they recently did that I said I wasn't going to buy anything for. And then I did at like the last minute, like 11 o'clock at night. And then I've got a Zombie Claw collection and um, what else is in here? Uh, sweet and Sour Lacquer I bought some stuff from. And then I have... And then I'm also going to show the upcoming Bee's Knees collection, plus the mystery if anyone wants to see that. And then I have a couple of other things that I swatched recently for videos that are coming up this coming week. Yes, lots of nail mail, and I lost... Oh, there's my knife. Got my knife. All right, so I'm just going to... Does anyone have, like, any... Pro like, I want to open up the Zoya first, to be honest, just be... Whoop. Just because, like, I bought a lot. Sorry for the wire suit. I bought a lot. Like, I've got three boxes because Zoya let me use their, that 70% off coupon that they had three times. So, so I used it three times. <laughs> because everything that I had was more than what the coupon would allow. And then I saw on Facebook that you can, like, actually, let me move some of this stuff first. That you can use the code multiple times. So, that, that's what I did. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me move some of this up. So the first box. Oops. And this is... Okay, yeah. This is the first one. So we're gonna just saw into it, I guess. All right. Come on. Open. All righty. I apologize again for the wires. Like, I'm trying to figure out... Oops, let's not get my shipping info in there. I'm trying to figure out how to move things around. Uh, so that we... I feel like... Is this too close up? Do I need to move my tripod up some more, do you all think? Like, I think it should be fine, but, like, I'm not 100% sure. And the packing... Oh, Lord. Let's just throw that onto the floor. Okay. So this first box is their pink palette. I don't think... Hold on. Yeah, okay, that was just the pink palette. You have Zoya, mine was just pink. When Dimius, I was so surprised that mine even shipped already because usually with their sales, things take forever to ship. So I was very, very, very surprised that mine even shipped this fast. So yeah, we've got, first one is the pink palette. Uh, hold on. Okay, what am I missing? Hi, you can't open them. <laughs> Hannah, honestly, when they come in often, I'm doing something else. And so I, I just kind of set them to the side. I'm going to open them in a second. And then, like, I get a bunch of PR stuff, and I always set that to the side, too. And that, and then I forget to open things. Ooh, these look so pretty. Like, so I, the, I rationalize this order as me saying, oh, you can review it. It's totally worth it, Nicole. It's, review it, then, then it's fine. <laughs> so... 
Yeah, I don't know if anyone wants to see this collection, but oh my god, oh, I saw, oh my god, it's so pretty. I am, one thing, this is me nitpicking, I am disappointed about one thing, though. Okay, the angle is good. One thing I am disappointed about is um, when I put the pink palette in my cart, it also was supposed to come with um, extra brushes and uh, nail polish remover. And then when I added the um, the Zoya coupon for the 70% off, it took out the remover and the extra brushes. So I was kind of annoyed by that, but not annoyed enough to pay full price. Because like I do have a lot of Zoya brushes already and I don't need the remover. Here are the names of the polishes, by the way. So you can see them all. So yeah, I was a little annoyed by that. Ooh, yes, who did shop Polish Pickup already? <laughs> so I already did. <laughs> I picked up, um, what was it? I'm having a brain fart. I picked up Lost in Five from the Sweet and Sour Lacquer website. I picked up um, the Twisting Nether Lacquer Starlight from the Polish Pickup website. And that's all I've purchased thus far. I know Anchor and Heart has something that I have my eye on, and I'm trying real hard not to buy more nail polish, but, like, I don't know. I'd love to know what everyone else got. Like, what what did everyone else buy? <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder what everyone else bought. I don't know. There's something in my throat. Sorry about that. Yeah, like, these are ridiculously pretty. Uh, are they coming? Eh, this one here is coming off a bit more, a bit more saturated on camera than I'm seeing it in person but and this one is looking a lot darker as well but oh my god they're so pretty and I love this box like look at the box like this is fancy fancy okay next thing we're going for another Zoya Ooh, all this hair I should have put my hair up so we got another one here I did my best to try to sharpie out my address and like the barcode so no one's like, ah, I know where you live, Nicole. But like, <clears throat> and yes, I, I'm not practicing knife safety. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, so people do want to see it review. Oh, fantastic. Because like, I wasn't sure. Okay. So next up, let's, oh, did I buy brush? Oh, these are polishes. I was like, what did, what did I buy? So yeah, basically what I bought from Zoya, I should not have thrown those around like a Muppet character. I bought the pink palette and then I bought um, the Sunset. I think it's called the Sunset Collection. It came out from fall 2021. And it, and the, this is not it. So these are the extra ones. These are the ones that I bought because I was like, ah, I gotta get a couple. So yeah, I, I bought a lot of things. Like, I was up late and like, ooh, look at those. For those of you who tuned in to the um, Creme Hollow Taco Night Owl Lacquer Comparisons video, when I thought I had a whole bunch of gray Zoya creams and I didn't, now I do. <laughs> so that's what happened. Because <laughs> I was like, it's 70% off. They're not going to get a better sale than this. Oh, okay, so this one here is called August. This is August. This one here is called Tau. I think that's pronounced Tau. I used to watch a YouTube channel with someone whose name was Tau, and that's how they said it, so that's... Okay. And this one is Tibin? Tibin? Tibin, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and I saw swatches of this one on Instagram. This is called Elsa. Oh my god, that is so freaking pretty. <laughs> Let's see, it's pretty. Yes, that Night Owl Lacquer 20% off sale. I was real tempted. In fact, the one thing that I was, I really, really, really wanted, I actually am getting it in PR, and it wasn't on sale anyway. I was getting the, um, those pastel neon cremes that just got released on, what was it? Two days ago. I was going to buy those, and then, like, I saw an email from the brand owner. She's like, hey, you want to swatch those? I was like, yes, please. <laughs> that was literally my reaction. I was so freaking excited because I was like, I was just about to buy these. So, yeah, that's really cool. But, um, yeah, I'm real tempted to go back and just double check if there's anything else there. 
I'm opening the next Zoya package, by the way. Because, yeah, I don't know. These sales. I'm almost glad that Heather's Hughes didn't do a sale with um, the Rewind. Because, like, I technically already own everything on the website because I purchased or she sent them to me. And, okay, we've got some brushes here. Wait a second. Wait one hot dog in second. Didn't I order? Hold on. Oh, wait, never mind. I was about to start being real mad, but no. There are polishes in it. So apparently I also ordered brushes. I don't remember doing that, but... Like I said, it was late at night and I was supposed to be sleeping, but I couldn't stop thinking about all the nail polish that I didn't have. <laughs> so, okay, I bought a lot of brushes. Okay, oh my God, I made such a mess already. Okay, that was not a good idea throwing everything. Okay, so these ones look like these are the Sunset Collection. Hey Jess, you have not missed anything. I just opened up some Zoya so far. So I got the pink palette, and then I have some gray cremes plus that gorgeousness there, and then all these brushes that I just kind of threw here that I probably shouldn't have. So I was saying these are, um, these next ones are from the, I think they called it the Sunset Palette, or the Sunset Collection. It was from fall 2021. Um, I saw swatches on, who was it that made me want it? I think everybody who swatched it made me want it, but it's like these gorgeous, like, Hold on, let me let me move some stuff around because I made a mess. Okay, these are gonna go back in the box because they don't need to be all here. Back in the box. Should not have thrown the brushes. Why did I buy brushes though? I've got a lot of these anyway. Okay. There we go. Slightly better. Give me one second. Just toss some more of the stuff around. Yeah, Polish Pickup Rewind, it hurt. Every year they do this to me. Like, I, yeah, Rewind gets me every, every year. That's all I can say is they get me every year. I'm trying real hard not to go to the Twisting Nether Lacquer website because I do believe they have a bunch of their $5 polishes up on the website again. And I know I'm not going to be able to say no if um, they have any of their glitter crellies for $5. Because that's how they got me the first time I ever ordered from them was a whole bunch of $5 crellies. And I've been hooked ever since. So, like, I'm trying. So, yeah, look at these. Oh, my gosh. Let's zoom in a little. So, yeah, this is called, I think it was called the Sunset Palette, I think. And, like, look at that. I saw so many people do like a skittle of these colors and it was just, oh, it's so freaking pretty. So yeah, I got those. <laughs> Evan, I am not starting a Zoya pop-up shop. I told, I rationalized all of this in my head as like, you can buy them to review. And, like, I'm already, I already know what I want to review for July. And then in August, I'm going to be working on the breast cancer awareness box. And so I don't know yet um, when I'm going to be able to fit all of these in. But, like, that, I specifically bought them because I want to do a review. But, yeah. So these are all of the Zoyas. <laughs> That's how I rationalize it to myself. But, oh, my, it's so freaking pretty. I love, I just love this color story so much. Oh, oh my god yeah Jess 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 I know I'm not helping you right now but I'm going to tell you this right now you need mind freak you need mind freak they sent me that one in PR recently for um rewind and that was on my lemmings list forever like it came back in rewind was it last year the year before and I thought I bought it. I thought I had it this whole time. So when they sent me this one in PR, I was like, wow, I'm finally going to wear it. And then I went into my fair maiden drawer. I didn't have it. I don't have it. And so, like, I finally got, I'm pulling up a picture. And, like, here we go. Okay, the color is not accurate, but it is, like, ridiculously pretty. Like, it is so much prettier in person than I even realized. So, like, I remember when Ashley from Southern Swatches swatched it just years ago. And she's like, Nicole, you got to get it. Nicole, you got to get it. Don't, don't do it. Just get it, Nicole. 
and I didn't get it. And then I thought I got it during Rewind at some other point, and I didn't, and then I had it on my nails, and it is so ridiculously pretty. Like, I was just in shock at how pretty it was, because, like... Like, I know Ashley did, like, amazing swatches, and I keep hoping that, like, she comes back and swatches again, but, like, oh my, it is ridiculously pretty. Okay. I'm getting, like, super duper excited. <laughs> oh, Megan, you got the fairy. Oh, it is so pretty. Like, I think the reason why I didn't initially get it was because at that time frame, point, whatever, I, it's not my, you. it was not like, I... Prior, before I got into swatching, I mainly just did bright colors, glitters, thermals, and, like, occasionally in the fall, I throw in some grays, but, like, I didn't have, like, as wide of a range of color enjoyments, I guess I'll call it, until I started swatching and I started wearing things that, like, I never would purchase myself, and, like, I think that's why I didn't have that one. Okay, so, let's see, what's this one? Okay. Next up, we got Sweet and Sour Lacquer. So, Sweet and Sour Lacquer came out with a Stranger Things trio. And I love Stranger Things. And I just, I'm watching um, the new season with uh, Wayne. Where is the seal on this? Also, side note, look at this cute little uh, sticker that they use. They always um, use these really cute stickers on their packages that make me want to save the tape stuff. And then I have to remind myself that I cannot become a hoarder of packing supplies and cute tape. So I toss it, but like, every time I'm tempted to keep it. <laughs> it is incredible. Like, I am so sad with myself that I never purchased it. Mind freak, I, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Catching it, thank you. Amanda, yes, you, the Zoya sale was fantastic. Like, they always do a lot of really great sales, but I tend not to jump on their sales unless they, um, are doing 50 or at least 50%, then I jump on the sales. Oh my god, oh my god! So, this was Sweet and Sour Lacquer, and then look at this cute little note. Like, what? I was, like, wondering. I thought, I'm like, I thought I ordered four polishes, but there's five. And also, their orders come with these really nice holographic stickers, in case anyone's wondering. So, I want to see if the custom polishes, because... Fun fact, I actually just placed an order for, a cust for two custom polishes by this brand. And since you all are here, I'm going to assume that you like me a lot, so I'm going to tell you the spoiler. I ordered the two custom polishes because I wanted to get some custom polishes made specifically for the 2,000 um, subscriber giveaway. So, spoiler. So yeah, Sweet and Sour Lacquer makes some of my favorite glitters, like period. Like, look at this. Sorry, it's not wanting to focus. Hold on, let me move this stuff out of the way. Up, oh, come on, hold on. Give me one second. I gotta flip out the LCD screen so I can tap it. Okay. There we go. Like, look. Oh my god. That is so cool. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. <laughs> In this color near. Has anyone tried? I have not tried the Foxfire lip gloss. I was thinking about trying it because I love, like, sparkly, glittery things on my face. Ooh. That is nice. Oh, that is nice. I probably shouldn't have put it on my nail because this isn't going to get all over my hair, but wow. Okay, so I'm going to have to send Darlene a message to say thank you because she probably thinks like I'm a rude biatch because I have not said anything about that gorgeous polish. I love cute tape. I'm packing. I used to hoard them. See, Jess, my issue is I would not be able to stop myself. I would, there would need to be an intervention because i just be like, it's all mine, it's mine. And Wayne's like, we are drowning in random shit, Nicole. Like, we can't do this anymore. I'm not going to say we've had that conversation before, but I'm not going to say that we didn't have that conversation before. <laughs> like, I try to keep all of my hoarding tendencies to this room here. 
but like sometimes there's overflow. So this here is the Stranger Things trio. Ooh, so this one's a magnetic. And then these two are like flaky bombs, if I'm remembering correctly. Like, oh my god, that is so nice. And then this polish here was one I was super duper excited about. This it was um a custom what group was it? The Polish Jewel Society Group Custom for July. Like, look at that. Come on. There we go. Like, look at that. Oh, that is freaking gorgeous. So I had my eye on this one, like, for the entire month of July, and I, then I forgot about it. And then I saw on, sometime last week, um, Darlene posted on Facebook that it was, like, the last call. There were only, like, three bottles left, so I jumped on it and grabbed it. <laughs> thank you Jen. yeah you know i have to say that it still kind of boggles my mind that like i i do nail polish swatch i know that that's gonna sound really stupid but like i remember when i was like just buying nail polish and taking pictures of it like i wasn't even posting to instagram i was just like taking pictures of my nails and be like oh look at the glitter and so like it just kind of boggles my mind that like somehow my photos are like floating across the internet and like people like seek them out like it's it's very surreal for me like i i just yeah it's, it's very surreal for me but ooh, look at that um i just can't yeah i'm very very because if you all didn't know sweet and sour lacquer is one of the brands that makes some of my favorite chunky glitter polishes like i love them and this is very unexpected. I'm very, very excited. And I'm also very excited to start working with Darlene on getting a group, not a group custom, but like a custom polish for like those of you here. I am hoping that it, it won't be like crazy expensive because I wanted to do like three, like one for me and then three of each one. So it'd be a lot, but I know Wayne's going to yell at me about the money, but like. I'll use my YouTube AdSense money. Then you can't say anything. So yeah, where did I put the other boxes? Like, I made like a ginormous mess and now I don't know where anything is. Oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I was just very excited about that package. Like, it looked great. Yeah, that, that, um, I think the, is it? Yeah, I'm 90% sure that the Stranger Things... Wait, should I be swatching these? Like, do you all want to see swatches? I can go grab a swatch wheel. Like, I didn't even think of that. Like, I was just thinking of it as just, like, opening boxes. But, like, I don't know. That might take a while. Actually, scratch that. Scratch the, the swatch wheel thing, because I just realized that's going to take a while. And I have a lot of editing to do tonight, so never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me move this so I can see what the comments are better. There we go. That's right. Investing back into the business. So next up we have some zombie claw polish. This is their summer ween. Let's zoom out. This is their summer ween collection. I could have sworn I was originally supposed to swatch these, but I, they, they never came, so I bought them. <laughs> so win-win either way but yeah i love this brand as well Ooh, and these came with stickers so if you've never ordered from zombie claw polish before they always include like candy in all all the packages Ooh. oh mm -hmm. cute little note i wonder if i can does this peel? Oh, it's, okay. I was trying to figure out if this little cat, if I could peel it off and stick it on something. But it, yeah, it looks like the stick -um on the cat is like specifically on this paper. And I'd have to like get some new sticky stuff to, uh, did I show my address a second ago? Okay, might have to go back and see what happens to that. Hopefully I didn't show my address to everyone. <laughs> Oops. Um, so yeah. Let's open these. Did I say <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
<laughs> I just know because I just realized I've got like I've got editing to do when we're after all of this and so like I shouldn't commit to being on for longer than like two-ish hours just because like I I just realized I forgot to say the names of the polishes um so this one here is Vecman this one here is Hellfire Cult this one here is upside down dimension planet thing I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention polishing. So yeah, these are should still be available on the Sweet and Sour Lacquer website. And then this custom, Aw Sucks, is not available. However, if you are in the, what's it called again? Polish Jewel Society group, I did see Darlene said if um, she can make more of this. However, it has to be at least six people so she, so she can make, so she makes like six bottle batches, I guess. So she had said if um, six people want this one, she can make another batch. But just go into either um, the Sweet and Sour Lacquer Facebook group or the Polish Jewel Society. Is it, yeah, Polish Jewel Society group, one or the other. I can't remember which start it was in. And mention that you'd like to buy it, and then if six people say they want it, then she will make another batch. Hello, Ursuline Lewis. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Yeah, my lives can be a little chaotic because I feel like I can be a little chaotic, but like we have fun. So <laughs> thanks for coming up. So yeah, these are the Zombie Lost Summer Ween Collection. I think these are all still available. Let's just look at the stickers first. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the stickers, they pushed me into ordering. I will, I will fully admit that. But like, ooh. I am a sucker for this brand stickers though. Like, oh, that is so cool. All right, so over here we have, what is that? Strolling through the cemetery. So it looks like a multi-chrome, maybe just a multi-shimmer thingamajigger. And then this one here, campfire spooks. One of these glows in the dark. I think that's the yellow that glows in the dark. And then we have Scary S'mores. I can't believe I bought this collection. <laughs> like, I should not have bought more nail polish. And, like, my Zombie Claw polish drawer is dangerously getting close to needing... Ooh. Is dangerously close to needing, like, a second one. And, like, part of me is just like, you should go through there and see what you don't actually want. But, like, oh my god, that is pretty. So this one's called Fireflies at Midnight. Nicole, what's it called, the color? Um, the Polish Jewel Society, Aw Sucks. That one? <laughs> or Ragtag Group of Hooligans. <laughs> which pot, which, what's, what, which, 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 what, which one called? <laughs> Sorry. That was a lot of W's and, and letters. My, I don't know. Ooh, this one's pretty. So this one is called Ghastly Summer Love. And I forgot to show, but like Zombie Claw, the labels that they, ah, they always do fun, cute designs on their labels too, in case anyone was curious. Okay, that was right. Very welcome. Okay. Ooh. So this one's called Jack O'Melon. See, this is a color that like Nicole prior to swatching wouldn't, wouldn't have done anything for me. But, like, that green and the shimmer, though, like, ooh, that is really, really pretty. Okay. Also, these boxes are adorable. Like, look how cute they are. Like, the aesthetic that the brand owner Sabrina does for their brand, I am definitely here for it. Like, it's just, I love it. Like, I love, like, spooky and cute stuff put together, like, kawaii, spooky, all, all the things. I love it. So, like, they're, everything about this brand is, I, I just really love. This one is called Horror Movie Time. Ooh, this is looking a lot more, um, chartreuse greeny on camera than it is in person. Like, it's definitely yellow in person, and there's, like, a strong green shimmer in here. I think, is this the one that glows in the dark? I could have sworn this one glows in the dark. But, I don't know. I can't remember. Is that it? One, two, 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's empty. 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 I probably should have gotten a bag to put these in recycle. But no. Ooh, what kind of candy do we have? Has anyone ever tried these? Does anyone know what this is? It looks like it's sour. Like it's got like a, a pica gomas. Don't know. And then we have, ooh, a mango. Mang mango purrs? Mango purrs? I like mango. Oh, look, you can see the back. I like mango, so maybe that will be delicious. Okay. I should have done better at putting things places. Also, I'm gonna have to... I think this will be up on replay for those of you who missed it, but I might take it down if I accidentally showed my address. <laughs> because that's kind of making me a little nervous right now. Okay, so what do we have left? Okay, so this next one, what am I missing? I like the collection. Yeah, I, ew. I'm very, I'm very happy about the collection. And also, um, for those of you who like Zombie Claw Polish, they do a indie collaboration called Talk Indie To Me. And for the July, I think it's July, the next box is going, oh. The next box is going to be themed after Taking Back Sunday. Here we have KB Shimmer. So this one is PR. This is the brand sent this one to me. Um, but yeah, the Zombie Claw Polish, they have um, a little collab box. And the next one's going to be Taking Back Sunday themed. And I do believe part of the proceeds to that one, I forget which charity it's going to, but it's going to a charity that is um, basically in support of um, people with uteruses health things. I can't remember what it's called. I just remember that they're doing a charity thing with that one. So this collection is going to be the summer collection from KB Shimmer. Uh, I'm trying to remember if they said I couldn't show it. I think they said it was fine. So this one launches, uh, August 1st, I think. But for those of you who are going to the Polish and Beauty Expo, this will be available during that. So now that I said all that, so that Polish Me Expo is like July 16th, I do believe. So question for those of you who watch my um, normal review videos, would are there enough of you who want to see the collection like early-ish? Like I don't know if I can fully commit to saying I'll get it up before Polish and Beauty Expo, but like should I try make more of an effort or should I wait until it's like available on the website to purchase. Cause I like to wait till things are closer to purchase. That's for me personally, because I know I, I forget to then, if I post it early, I then forget to like, hey, guess what? This is available now. So like I tend to post things closer to release just cause I know for me, I, I forget things very easily. So yeah, let me know what people's preferences are. Okay. <gasps> is this, what is this? like? I think it's a beach ball or some kind of, it seems like it's some kind of inflatable. Oh, oh, okay. Let's try to contain the glitter. What on earth? Hold on. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Um, I think it's like a beach ball. I think it's a beach ball with like glitter inside that's getting all over the place. Yeah, I'm 90% sure that this is a beach ball. So I do know it's Sean Zach's with her. Do what you're comfortable with. The same, so probably closer. I honestly don't know if that's dollar store brand candy. I know that for a lot of the zombie claw candies that I get, they tend to either be um, like typical American can like candy that you see in American superstores, super, supermarkets all the time, or like random from other countries that I've never heard of. But I I don't know I don't know dollar store candy well enough to know if it's sold there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, okay, thank you, everyone. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm trying to figure out what my own personal schedule... 
<laughs> okay. One, don't try blowing up a ball full of glitter with your mouth. You will then get glitter in your mouth. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I am just like covered. Hold on, let me see if I can. I am just like, these are my pants, covered in glitter. Dust, covered in glitter. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what my schedule is for things that I'm posting in July. Because I've purchased a lot of things that I want to get reviews up for. And then like the Orly collection is launching. I think they're sending those out next week. I do know from what I currently have filmed, today I was working on a video for some cheese scented nail polish. I purchased those uh, Velveeta cheese nail polishes that were kind of big, like, I don't know how when it was, but they just, they just shipped out and I swatched those. Um, I have Color Spectrum Polish's five year collection that I'm working on. And then what else was I working on? Uh, brain farting. Um, I know we've got Bees Knees coming up. We have, oh, Hella Handmade Creations is coming up. Polish Gamers Boxes this month. And then we also have, what's the other one? The one that I really like. What's that one called? Having another brain fart. You all know the collab boxes I usually do. The one that's like the spooky theme. There's a Stranger Things box that I'm doing. And KB Shimmer. So I'm trying to decide how I want to plan things out. But yeah, so we've got another inflatable. I think this one is like a little raft that you put your drink in. No glitter, but like, I'm gonna put that on the side. And we have a little, what are these called again? I forget, it's like a cup cozy? A cup cozy, I think it's called. It ain't part <laughs> It ain't a party until you inhale glitter. Yeah, seriously. Also, I forgot to mention um, from the live last week, um, the flakies, remember when I was talking with the flakies and I inhaled the flakies? When I was cleaning my nose piercing that night when I went to bed, I got a flaky on my finger. So, little box of horrors. Yes, thank you. That's what it was. Little box of horrors. So we've got some sunglasses. Ow. Stabbed my ear. Okay. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm probably just going to give these to my nephew because I need my glasses to see. But yeah, KB Shimmer always does these really fun PR packages. And like sometimes when they send them, like we can't show the polishes. So like I take pictures and they always forget to actually like show them. Plus I haven't done a KB Shimmer review in a long time because every time they send me something like I can't figure out when to fit it in then I push it back then completely forget about it so <laughs> whoops but yeah these look really nice I do believe from what I remember on the website that these are mainly I think we've got shimmers a cozy is that how it's spelled I was thinking in my brain I was spelling it like cozy like I am sitting on the couch feeling cozy hold on gotta open these up but yeah I do really like KB Shimmer collections though, and I'm kind of glad that none of these are reflective glitters. I feel like I'm feeling a little burnt out on reflective glitters. Like, I still like them, but like, I feel like trying to do swatches of multiple reflective glitter polishes has me feeling a little burnt out on the finish in general. Like, I was really happy to see that the July Bees Knees collection doesn't have any reflective glitters. I don't know about, I think the mystery bags might, but I can't remember. But I do know that the main collection doesn't seem to have any reflective glitters that I could see. Okay. Here we go. So here are all the polishes. So this one is a multi-chrome and it's called Kinda Shady. So it looks like it's a blue purpley kind of shift. I don't remember the description they sent having uh, mentioning the red. And this one, Splash Talking. This one looks like I'm going to need to compare it with something else because that is ringing in my brain as I've seen you before. This one looks nice. Rock the Float. That looks really nice. 
and then let it slide. So this is coming up a lot more green on camera. Um, in person, I'd say this is like a highlighter neon yellow that like leans a little green. And then we have my Flavorit color. Co cozy. <laughs> um, here we have Dive On In. That looks really pretty. And ooh, this one is bright. So this one's called Flip Out. This is like a neon coralish kind of color. It's looking very pink on camera, but in person it is like a neon coralish kind of situation. So yeah, that is Float On. I do believe the release date, again, is August 1st. I think it, that was the official release date. Um, trying to remember if there's anything else that I'm supposed to remember about those. But I think that's it. But yeah, these will be available at Polish and Beauty Expo. Let's just put you guys in there so I don't lose you. Yeah. I feel the same way, Jen. Like, I know before I started getting PR for them, I tended to mainly just pick up their Polish pickup shades and the sugar scrub, also from Polish pickup. Speaking of which, um, Paul, let me just verify if I can't show this first before I show it, because I've got another KB Shimmer PR package here, but I'm not sure if I can show it. So give me one second. Do, 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 do. Okay. Today's okay. I can't actually show these, so never mind. So yeah, this is their polish pickup for August. So I'm not. I'm not actually supposed to show those. So never mind. I apologize for that. Okay. What do we have? We got more stuff. Is that it? No. No, there's more stuff somewhere. The KB Shimmer. There's Zoya. The floor is just such a mess right now. We open those. Um. Oh, 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 I do have more to show. Hold on. Ooh. Sorry. Almost knocked over the camera. Ugh. So some more PR stuff. I recently opened these. So these are from an Australian brand called Ice Cream Nails. I had previously purchased polishes from this brand, like, many, many years ago when I first got into Indies. And I wasn't super pumped about it. Like, I didn't like the formulas. But, like, I'm fingers crossed that the formulas are better now. Plus, like, I think it also could be because, like, back then, um, I was new to polishing, so I didn't have, like, the skills on polishing either. So, like, I'm hoping, I'm trying to fit these all in the frame. So, yeah. So basically they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try a couple of polishes and they said pick out whatever you want from the website. So all of these I think I picked out except for one of them. I think this one I didn't pick out. So I'm very excited to try these, especially the scented one. But yeah, do you, okay, let me start over. Does anyone have, <laughs> does anyone have, like has anyone tried this brand before? Because, like, I know from my past experience with them that I wasn't super in love. But, like, I wanted to give them, like, another shot. So, yeah. Anyone try this brand before? This is another thing that I want to get done for July, too. Because, like, I really want to try them. I like ice cream nails. I feel like they do good sales. Oh, really? See, I don't follow them. I don't think I follow them on Instagram or anything or get their email, so I don't even know about their sales. But, like, I was really confused because, like, the tracking on this one, it came from Florida, and I was, like, expecting it to say Australia, so I guess they must have some type of fulfillment center here in the U.S., I'm assuming. Because I was real confused. What the size on the ice cream cone? Um, hold on. I think these are 12 ml. I remember the bottle sizes are on the smaller side. I remember that. Like, I like the, um, I'm checking on my phone, by the way. I like the shape of the bottles. I like the way they look, but I feel like for, um, storage, they're kind of a pain. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I could find on their website what size the bottles are. Because I think it was, like, 11 mls, but I might be wrong. Okay, I don't see on their website what size, how many mLs they are. But 
But the polishes are 10 free, cruelty free, uh, not tested on animals, and they're vegan. So that's always a plus. But I don't see anywhere on the website how many mLs they are. But I feel like my brain is telling me that there are 11, but I could be wrong. They have great customer service to me. The polish isn't worth the price point. Not a fan of the brush. Oh no. It's the Let me see the brush. Because I was trying to not open these because I wanted to show, take a picture and show them on Instagram. Like that I got them and that they're coming for review. But like, let me see the brush. Oh. It's a thick one. So I think in theory I should like it. But like my issue, these are, these are smaller than I remembered. Oh, I was wrong. On the bottles they say they are 10 mLs. So they are small. But I feel like a lot of the non-US brands, so yeah, the price point is on the spendy side. 10 mLs for $13.50. But like, I feel like on one hand, I kind of get that because my understanding is that a lot of the brands outside of the US basically have to import all of their supplies. And so trying to keep a price point that is acceptable, they use smaller bottles and all that to try to make up for having to do just so much. Sorry for my phone going off. I forgot to turn it on Do Not Disturb. So like I kind of get it that way. Like I do know that a lot of the brands that are outside of the US have to charge a bit more and have smaller bottle sizes for that reason. But yeah. Hold on, we're really well done. Oh, good. Well, that's good. Yeah, I remember, um, I remember, so the ones that I bought, I had bought um, some neon cremes from them. I got them from Live Love Polish when they were still Live Love Polish like years ago. Like I think it was like five years ago maybe. And I'm five years ago before I switched to Helmers, I had like racks. And I remember that whenever I'd go into the rack to pick out one polish, these guys would always fall over. And then when I switched to my Helmers, I noticed that like when you pull open the drawer, they also kind of topple over, which is a little aggravating. But like, yeah, I'm really, really, I have high hopes for these because I've seen Kelly Marissa's videos on them and the polishes themselves seem like they're pretty good. So like I've got high hopes that these are like loads better than the ones that I tried previously. Okay. And what else? I feel like I meant, like, I could have sworn I had a lot more boxes, but everything, like, is just, like, knocked on the floor. Like, it, it's just totally a mess. But, yeah. I guess I'll show some other things that I'm working on. So, I recently swatched these. The video for these will be up probably tomorrow. I still have to edit the photos and do my voiceover, but I think it's, I think these are tomorrow or Tuesday depending on what I have to do tomorrow. So yeah, these are the Velveeta scented nail polishes anyway. Um, I got some thoughts on those. I want to save that for the video, but like, I went into swatching these thinking that there was no way that they could possibly smell worse than the Sinful Colors Sweet and, what was it called? Sweet and Salty collection, I think it was. They had a couple of polishes in there that were like, the most disgusting things that I've ever smelled from a nail polish in my entire life. There was like one that was taco scented. There was a pizza scented one. There was like a cheese puff. There was uh, a donut. There was a milkshake. I think it was like, no cookies and cream. And then there was a, there was another one, but I'm, I'm blanking on what it was, but like, yeah. So I will say that they don't smell worse than the sinful colors um, collection, those, the, the, the savory scents at least, but I wouldn't say they smell good either. So there's that, but I'll, I'll I won't spoil the rest for my review. Um, do you all want to see more stuff that I've been working on? Re oh, I forgot. I said I was going to do bees knees. I forgot. Do you all want to see the bees knees? 30% <laughs> off. Really crazy. Yeah, they do seem small. Um, a friend of mine said that they look, um, that the ice cream nails bottles kind of look like uh, kids nail polish. And now that she put that in my head, like I look at it now, I'm like, oh, that's for children. But like nail polish is nail polish. And like the formulas, if they're good, I'll, I'll be happy. Yeah. 
See that, Jen? The scented thing is definitely a gimmick, and it is definitely a gimmick that gets me every single time. Like, like example, um, I was on Facebook last night, and I saw that um, a store here in America called Claire's, it's like a children's jewelry store, basically, and they had uh, some Cheetos scented nail polish. Here. Here it is. Like, did I buy it? Yes, I did. I bought it. Because, like, I was just like, it's going to smell terrible, but I want to smell it. So, yeah, I, I bought this yesterday. It has not, I mean, it's Sunday, so I'm not surprised that it hasn't shipped. But, like, ooh, hold on, reaching the bees knees. <sighs> but, like, I don't know why I see scented and terrible things in nail polish and then say to myself, I need that. Because that's what keeps happening. All right, so here are the bee's knees. This is the July collection. We got a lot of things here. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something in here that is for August. Hold on one second. Let me just find which one's August and take it out. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I took out the August things because I wasn't supposed to show those yet. Um, but yeah. Let's just take them all out. So in here is like the main collection and then also some um, do, 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 rainbow connection exclusives again for July. What am I missing? I like kitty things. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to say I have high hopes for the Cheetos one in particular because like my experience with Claire's nail polish is that it's terrible. But my experience with Clara's nail polish is like from well over a decade ago. Like, was I in my 20s? No, I think I might have even been a teenager the last time I bought nail polish from Claire's. So I would like to think that the Claire's um, quality has gone up since the 1990s, but I don't have high hopes that it did. Especially since like they can get away with crappy formulas because their target audience are children who are just going to the whole thing and then probably spill it at the same time. So like I feel like they can get away with real crappy formulas. Ooh. Like I haven't looked at the whole collection. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. I haven't looked at the whole collection before but ooh this looks really nice. Like this one is standing out to me the most. This one's called The Lias Remember. Lias? I think that's like L-I-U-S. Okay, so I guess, hold on, let me just try to find the Rainbow Connection and put them separate. This is Rainbow Connection and... nope. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Um, do you all want me to pull up official descriptions on these or just say what I'm seeing in the bottle? Is someone leaving? <laughs> Aw, thank you for tuning in, Lily. Okay, I've never listened to a live before, so I thought I was at the end. Nope, I am still. I we're still here. We're still hanging out, Amanda. Yeah, thank you for coming to hang out. Yep, we listen to you. <laughs> yeah, like I I'm glad you all like these because I I I was really nervous because I was like. No one's going to want to show up to watch me, like, open a bunch of packages. Because, I don't know, every time I, before I do a live, I just get in my own head saying that no one's going to want to watch. Okay, yes to official descriptions. <laughs> yeah. I really hope I don't ever get in trouble with that because, like, I am just terrible with spoilers. Like, it's, I'm, I'm just not that person to keep a secret. Like, just don't tell me because I'm just really bad. Like, I... Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm pulling at the bee's knees now. Alrighty, so this is a 12-piece collection plus mystery bags, new scents, and overpours from the 9th House mystery bags from June. And there will be a few respawns. The collection launches on uh, July 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern time for pre-order. It closes on August 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Um, apparently I was supposed to hold off promotion until 7.15. <laughs> Shit. 
shit. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, this isn't technically, this was, this was an unboxing. Like, I don't think this counts as promotion, so... Oh, okay, good. Good news. I just read the second email. It was just, don't post official swatches until the 15th. I'm good on posting an unboxing video. Phew! <laughs> because I was like, ah, shit. I messed up. <laughs> um, okay. So, let me see what else. Okay, so this is called The Only a Monster Collection, inspired by the book by Vanessa Len about a monster girl who falls in love with the hero. Doo -doo -doo. Mostly shimmers. We have one ghost flaky and light reflective polish. Hmm, which one's that? Hold on, I'm gonna flash my light on here real quick. Ah, uh, is this it? No. Ah, so this one here is a light reflective glitter polish, so I was wrong. But I'm just glad it's not a whole ass collection full of them again. <laughs> what fossil is it? Yes, I do agree. We have, according to the description, hold on, let's find it. There's a polish in here called, Ol this one here, Always Free, is to be considered a sister to a lion with a thorn in its paw. It's a dark green base with a glowy red to green shimmer and loaded with hollow flakies. Ooh. That is pretty. Come on, camera. There we go. That is real pretty. Ignore how terrible my nails look, please, because I am. I'm ignoring it, so you should, too. <laughs> All right, number two, loyal. Here we go. Loyal until death. This is also to be considered an updated sister to align with a thorn in its paw. This is a mid-tone blue base with a glowy red to green shimmer and loaded with hollow flakies. It looks like all up to this polish and the last polish are both $13.50. That is real pretty. That is really, really pretty. So, wait. Let me try to put the lion ones together. So, you're a lion, and then there's another one, it looks like. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Unless remembers. Hmm. Okay, I thought this one was going to be another sibling, but I'm not seeing it. On here. Oh, I am an idiot. I just wasn't looking. So this is another <laughs> sibling to align with a thorn in its paw. A grape purple base loaded with a glowy red to green shimmer, as well as hollow flakes. Ooh. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Let's say siblings. <laughs> yeah, I love their hollow flake formula. That one, I, I could buy that one over and over and over again. Dragons, 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 dragons. Where? There we go. Okay, this one is dragons need not fear other dragons. This one's going to be $12. It is described as being... A deep, unassuming turquoise jelly base that shifts to a dramatic pink shimmer. That looks pretty. You know, I think I might have to schedule a live where I do, like, a massive bees knees comparison. Because I feel like I'm going to get some comparisons requests for these. And, like, the last one, I didn't do any comparisons because, like, my brain just did not want to tussle with my bees knees drawers. But, like, I feel like I'm probably going to have to do that. Next one. So next is um, Real Monsters Look Like You and Me. This one is a rich cobalt jelly base that shifts to a dramatic pink shimmer. This one is also $12. Ooh, look at that shimmer, though. Ooh, that is pretty. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, these are, these are real nice. I... And again, I'm really happy that there's less light reflective layers. Like, I can't stress how much I hate photographing those. Especially when there's, like, a lot of them. The Hunt. There we go. So this one is called the Hunt Family Power. It is a grass green jelly base that shifts to a dramatic pink shimmer. Are these all the same kind of pink shimmer? Actually, they might be. Yeah, I think these three all have, like, the same kind of pink shimmer in them. It's wild, though, like, how different 
they all look because the base color is different. But I feel like the shimmer is the same in all three of these. But yeah, I'm really like... This one's reminding me of um, Daria. Like the Daria shade of green, that car that cartoon from the 90s. I don't know. This is just reminding me of that for some reason. I can't remember. Did Daria have pink in it? No, she was like green and yellow, I think. I don't know why that made me think of Daria, but it did. <laughs> um, Next up, If You Believe in Fairy Tales. Oop. So this one is called If You Believe in Fairy Tales. Uh, a pale, almost pinky purple base that shifts an entire rainbow of colors. So that one is $13. Let's see if we can figure out. Ooh, that is nice. I'll be really interested to see, to see, to see how kind of rainbowy it is because like just my lighting here isn't the best, but like I'm not seeing complete rainbows yet. Let's see. Currently. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Tanya. I'm assuming that's pronounced Tanya. Tanya, Evan, thank you. It looked like it's I'm currently wearing Fairy Punch Father. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. I like Fairy Punch Father. Let me read the just pick some hands. <laughs> yeah, light reflective glitters, like I I like them in general, but like when I've got a lot of them back to back to back to back, I'm just kinda like this the whole time. And like trying to plan it like looking at like the the, I basically for light reflective glitters I try to only swatch those on days where I have access to like sunlight so I kind of just kind of look at my phone on the little weather thing and try to figure out when in the week I can schedule to do the light reflective glitter because I just prefer to show those in like the sunlight versus like artificial lighting indoors and like if I have a day of all if I have like a week of all rainy days I'm just like this and then, like, sometimes I'll see, like, the sun peek out. So then I try to swatch it real, real quick so I can run outside and get the lighting. And it's just, like, a whole headache, and I, I don't like it. <laughs> but, like, as a customer, I like light reflective glitters. But, like, I feel like if there's just a lot of them, just swatching them is just, like, a huge pain in the ass, to be perfectly honest. All right, we did the hunch. If you believe in fairy tales, did we do that one? I think, yep, yeah, we did that one. Um, I won't remember what you mean to me. Okay. Next up we have, I won't remember what you mean to me. The brand describes this one as a pale indigo base that shifts an entire rainbow of colors. Um, I'm assuming that the shimmer is the same as the shimmer in here, so it's gonna be $13. My little info that they sent does not say the pricing on it, but I'm assuming the shimmer is the same, so $13. What are we missing? Yeah. They have, Bees Knees, they have the best, I don't want to say they have the best, but they have some of the best shimmers, like, in the indie world, period. Like, they're really, really gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. You know, I try my best. Like, I often feel, like, very just kind of, I shit on myself a lot, to be on. That sounds terrible. But, like, <laughs> I rag on myself a lot. I'll say it that way. That, like, it's just, like, I try my best, and sometimes I feel like I could do better, and so, like, then I get frustrated and just, like, have, like, a little mini meltdown. Like, example. Um, so my nails. I just did this set because I had a meltdown on Friday that my nails were too short. Like, I give, gave myself a fill, filed them down, and I had to file them down a lot shorter because, like, I could not get my, my crooked finger to not be crooked. So then I had a meltdown on Friday, did a new set, and then, like, I thought it was okay. And then when I was swatching earlier today, I noticed that, like, my ring finger has like a little divot right here and I did not have time to fix it. So I'm just like, it's not perfect and I should just, I should not do it and just, it was a whole big thing. But like, I did not have time to, I have glitter all over the place. I'm gonna have to vacuum. Like they glitter bombs me at the end, that was a glitter bomb. And yeah, like I do, I, I feel like I'm too hard on myself sometimes. Like I don't know why I try to do everything perfect when I'm not perfect at all. But anyway, let's, let's keep it going. <laughs> um, we did that one. What's next? Okay, this one is Every Monster Goes Up Against the Timeline. And the brand describes this one as a lime green with gold to green to blue shifting shimmer. 
And here is it just side by side to the other green in the release. This is the spring monster green thing. Ooh, these are pretty. Like, I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite Bees Knees collections of the year thus far. And I'm sorry to say that it's likely because there's minimal reflective glare. I don't know why I'm just burnt out on them. Like, I just... I don't know. But whatever. Let's just keep it moving. Um, only... Here we go. This next one is Only You Can Stop the Hero. This is a sister polish to an act of wrath. And it's an orange-leaning coral with a strong green to blue to purple shifting shimmer. This does have a neon base, so um, it might fade, the brand says. And you might also notice small pigment specks in the bottle. Hmm, I don't see any pigment specks. Ooh, did you guys see that mixing ball just kind of leave a streak? Like, ooh, why is that so, like, cool looking? That is real pretty. And next up, ooh, off. This next one is called Unmade, and this is another sister to an act of wrath, and it is a dusty pink base with a strong green to blue to purple shifting shimmer. This one is also in a neon base, so you might see um, some pigment specks in here, and it might fade. Let me see if I can see any pigment specks. Mm, no, I'm not seeing anything, but it's party. Um, we, are off of, we are off from our words. Craig, it's great when you can overcome the meltdowns, but during the meltdown, it's like a damn. Yeah, that is very true. Like, it, it really is. Like, I was just like, they're going to point out that your nail isn't perfect. They're going to say it's too thick. They're going to say this, and everyone's, no one's going to like the foes. You're going to have to do them. Like, I was just having a full-on meltdown. And then, <laughs> this is terrible, <laughs> but, like, I'm like... But then I thought to myself, just like, you look at your photos from like two years ago and just like say how horrible they were, but like people like them. And so like clearly like it's not as bad as you seem to think it is, Nicole, so just move on. And that's what I did. <laughs> I'm like, it's not that bad. But yeah. And then the last one here is called We Love a Tragic Romance. And this is a grungy rose with a gold to green ghost flake as well as a scattering of ruby light reflective glitter and this one is 14 bucks ghost flakes are on my list of flakies that i hate photographing because they really only show up well under like um very diffuse lighting and low and low light situations and i use some very bright lights for my photos and like the ghost flakes always disappear oh I didn't even realize that these were supposed to be, like, red reflective glitters in here. Let's bust out this. Is it gonna... Okay, there we go. You can see kind of a twinkling. I'll be curious to see how this looks in the sun, because I'm not really seeing red in person. But, like, I've got two honking lights on the side, too. Be kind to yourself, because we love you and you're real. Thank you very much, Lily. <laughs> Thank you. Like, it really, like, I'm, uh, what? I just, I just pulled a piece, look at this, glitter. There was glitter in my mouth. <sighs> I was like, what is this on my tongue? What is this on my tongue? It was freaking glitter. Oh my god. Okay, um... I'm going to open up the mystery polishes now. If you want to, like, look away from the screen or even click out if you don't want to see the mysteries, <laughs> I would suggest it because we're, we're going to do the mysteries because every, every freaking month they send these, I always say that I'm going to, like, open them live on a live stream and then I panic and don't do it. So we're going to do it because we're here now. So um, thank you for hanging out. If you don't want to be spoiled, um, peace. <laughs> thanks for coming I guess well that sounds mean I don't mean thanks for coming I mean actual thanks for coming like I, I'm not trying to be mean oh wait I didn't show the rainbow connection I almost forgot don't dip out yet we got two more that aren't mysteries hold on hold on gotta scroll through all the list okay so these two polishes are exclusive to rainbow connection um rainbow connection does ship to the US Canada 
They're based in, no, Netherlands is hypnotic poly. They're based somewhere in either Europe or UK. I'll be honest, I forget the differences between the UK and Europe, so don't, I don't remember, okay? <laughs> I went to public schools, like, and I blanked out on literally everything from high school, so I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that public school thing was messed up, though. I apologize for that, <laughs> but really, like, I don't remember what the differences are, and I, and yeah, it, it's out of my brain. Anyway, let, let's keep it moving. Um, so this one is called Pinkest Sneakers. This one is inspired by the time uh, Sarah from Bees Knees dropped an entire container of pink pigment coating the workshop and most of the places, most of the services in the workshop as well as their sneakers. Um, they describe this one as a sheer pale purple base leaning magenta with large particle red to orange shimmer and is priced at $12. Yep, we, we're looking at the UK. I'm sorry, I almost forgot about them. And then this one is called Get Off These Yams, and it's inspired by the time Faith loudly announced to all of uh, the... In well, uh, there was a nail polish convention called TIS. I can't remember what it's called. The Indie Shop? That sounds right, but I feel like it's wrong. Anyway, San, San Antonio, that she had to get off her yams instead of gams. This one is a yammy orange base with a glowy pink to green shimmer and is priced at $13. These are real pretty. I like these two a lot more than the June Rainbow Connection exclusives. Those were kind of like, to me, the flaky one was better than the the weird gray base, but these, these look freaking gorgeous. Okay, now we're going... Um, where do we get that? So these, these two will only be available on the rainbowconnection.co.uk. I'll just type it out. Hold on. Hold on. I'll type it in the chat. Where is it going to let me? Rainbow Connection. These will only, these will be available at the end of the month. Rainbowconnection.co.uk. UK is Britain, the address, uh, why is it letting me see? There it is. UK is Britain, etc. They address part of the Europe, but sometimes Europe returns to the countries on the continent. Ah, I hope I remember that. Yes, where did we get that? I hate the glitter. <laughs> yeah, the glitter, not fun. Um, but yeah, these will be available during the sale period, which again, for the people who missed it, the sale period starts on due July 29th at 7 p.m. on the Bees Knees site. I have noticed that the um, Rainbow Connection, if the sale launches on the 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the Bees Knees website, that I have noticed that Rainbow Connection will have the full collection and everything like a day before or at least several hours before. And again, they do ship um, to Europe, UK, um, the US, Canada. I don't know about other countries, but I do know that they have like a list of all the countries that they do ship to on their website. So I, I know that's there. Um, what did I just have open? Oh, why did I close that? Now I can't see what things are called. Should not have closed that. Bees is July. Okay, now on to the mysteries. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for those of you who are happy about no reflective glitter, I am sorry for you, but uh, the mystery polishes are going to be ghost flaky and light reflective glitter mystery polishes. Um, just like the last time, we get you get two polishes, and each bag is twenty six dollars. Ooh, there is a limit this time. Apparently, only one bag per person. Previously, it was two bags per person, and these have a cap of four hundred and fifty. Um, bags total. Um, and if you miss the mysteries or you don't like mysteries, these will be for sale individually without the mystery option during the August sale period. Okay, so I'm going to get these cracked open. If you don't want to hear about the mysteries, feel free to dip out. No, no hard feelings on my part. Well, if you just can um, Becky, I am assuming that, yes, they will have, um, some type of group buy going on. 
just for people outside of that area to save on shipping. I have not been told of anything specific, but I do know that um, most likely it probably will be. So these ones are inspired by the six crimson cane cranes, the six crimson cranes, uh, which is a book series. I don't know who it's by. Apparently there is a sequel coming out in August. So, okay, for the mysteries, it looks like there are a total of two, wow, there are a total of 12 mystery polishes, and I have two of them here. Um, also, the brand does say if you have questions on the ghost flaky, basically a ghost flaky is a flaky that is a the largest particle size of unicorn pea shimmer. It's the largest particle size available. They're not quite as sparkly because they are denser and more flake-like, but they have the same red to gold to green color shift as Unicorn P. Uh, and also, these polishes have half the amount of light reflective glitter that they have usually been using, just so there's also that as a heads up. And they basically used half the amount because they didn't want to take away from the ghost flakes. So these are going to be extra fun to photograph. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first one that I have here is this beautiful red. I really like this red base. It's called, I would wish your strand nodded to mine always. What on earth does that mean? I don't know why. I, <laughs> I don't want to get myself in trouble. I'm just going to shut up. Um, so this one is described as a rich red with a red to green ghost flake as well as ruby light reflective glitter and also just a heads up when these are for sale individually during august these will be 14 dollars a bottle that is real pretty though i see reds like this and i'm like that's gonna stain the bejesus out of me hopefully it doesn't stain and then the second one i have is called the blood of stars and i love that base color look at ooh, that looks real pretty so this one is a black and a blue base with a red to green ghost flake as well as sapphire light reflective glitter. And I will here. Here are all of the, just screenshot it I suppose. <laughs> screenshot it to see, have all of the spoilers. Here it's screenshot, there screenshot the first ones there. And I'll scroll to show the rest of them. And then, doo -doo -doo, here's the rest. Feel free to screenshot it. <laughs> don't get me in trouble. Don't say you got it from me, please. <laughs> Just don't say you got it from me. Feel free to screenshot. <laughs> so yeah, those are all of those. So it looks like in there, there's going to be one that's faded persimmon. I feel like that's going to look interesting. And then the indigo one. Ooh, kind of wish I got a gray in here. Ooh. Yeah, so I think these sound pretty dang interesting. Where did my little basket go? There is a very loud noise coming from outside of my house, and I would love to know what on earth is going on out there. Like, it doesn't sound like somebody is in the barn, but it could be. But I don't think that was in the barn. Like, it sounded like it was going around my entire house instead of, like, from that direction. <laughs> yeah, 12 is a lot. 12 is a lot, and the fact that, like, you can only get two, so I, I would imagine these mystery bags are going to go real quick. Have a real strong one. They're going to go real quick. With caps of 40. And then, uh, yeah, these were, wow. So I'm going to try to cover, so this is all the polish. I'm trying to cover up the August collab boxes so I don't get in trouble. But yeah, those are all the polishes. You know, it might be fireworks. It kind of sounded like a truck to me, but like, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it, it was real spooky. And also, where did I put them? Um, trying to think of what else I have on my swatch table that I don't have uh, no share to. But I think that's it. I think that I think that's we're going to call it with that. So yeah, that was a lot of stuff. Oh my god. I wanted to... <laughs> There's freaking glitter everywhere. Come on, let's turn the camera. I don't want to get my feet in there. Like, look at this mess. 
That is a lot of just junk. We got a lot of stuff going on, on my floor. <sighs> well, you know that. Ooh, don't knock over the camera, Nicole. Ooh, so we knock over bees knees instead, of course. Kathleen? Um, I don't know when Kathleen and Co. opens. I do not know. My brain... Yeah, I'm trying to remember if I ever saw it, but I don't think I did. What did I say? I hardly ever get the name. Yeah. I... This is just my own personal... Opinion. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. I don't... I don't, I'm not 100% sure if when Bees Knees names their polishes, if they necessarily specifically name them, um, like they, they say, this polish should be called da 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 because of da 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 da. I don't know if, I don't think that's their, I mean, again, I don't know. But like from the collections that I have seen where I read or watched the source material, Sometimes the colors kind of match the character or what have you, and other times it seems completely random to me, so I don't 100% know, like, how they decide to name bloop, 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 because sometimes it seems completely random to me, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I bought way too much nail polish. Like, I'm just looking at, like, all of the, the remnants of everything. And I completely forgot. Um, if anyone wants to grab the sweet and sour lacquer ones, <laughs> I have a coupon code with them. I complete I completely space. Um, all my coupon codes are in the description, but it's sweet Nicole ten for the sweet and sour lacquer website. I don't think I have coupon codes for anyone else here. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, I bought way too much nail polish. But yeah. Also, quick question. I've been meaning to ask um you all this. So do for those of you who who um, watch the longer form videos for how do you all feel about when it's a live swatch video but like instead of showing like a full hand swatch you just kind of get like um, just like the one finger live swatch and that's that how do we feel about that because sometimes like when I buy like all of these polishes sometimes I think about just doing like a really quick video just doing a quick one finger swatch and then it's giving like my initial thoughts instead of like my normal like I've got the live swatch and then the full four finger shot and like me talking for a minute and a half to two minutes on the same polish. Like how do we feel about like a quicker form, quick first impressions kind of thing? Because I'm concerned, like I'm not planning on changing how I do my videos. It's just sometimes like when I buy, like I was thinking about doing that for the zombie claw collection because sometimes like I buy like a lot of things. And, like, I don't have the time to do full hand swatches of everything. But, like, I still want to share them. But, like, I don't know if people would be, like, mad at me for not having my usual four finger, sw like, swatch included in the live swatch video. I love the word match, but I don't know the Witcher did. See, I felt like the Witcher kind of did for some polishes, but others I didn't really get. I didn't get, I never read, I didn't read Laura Olympus, but yeah. I like The Witcher. I like The Witcher. I like the show. I didn't, I've never played the games. I haven't read any of the books, but I like the, the Netflix show was good. One finger swatches are fun, especially for live fake hands. I have, I have a, I have um, a fake hand that I, I do have that. I used to use it to practice acrylic on. But, like, I thought people thought those were weird, so I, I used them, like, once in a blog post. Like, when was that? Before I started the YouTube channel, I did that in a blog post once, and I got some interesting messages on Instagram about my Handy Andy. That's what we named the fake hand. We called her Handy, hand, Handy Andy. People were just like... So, like, Handy Andy never came out again. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yay or nay? I wish I could do polls. Like, I forgot. Like, I downloaded a poll thing, but I don't know how to do it. I wish my husband would let me use his hands on, um, for things. Because I thought it'd be really cool to be able to show, like, the colors, how they look on me versus how they look on him. Because his skin tone is significantly lighter than mine. But, yeah, he, he often, he's like, no. No, he's not doing it. He, 
He does not wear nail polish. He does not let me do manicures on his hands. At most, he'll let me, like, clean out the dirt from underneath of his nails. But outside of that, he doesn't let me mess with his nails, which is very disappointing. Like, um, a few months ago, he ripped off his thumbnail, and I wanted him to use some of my unscented nail oil because, like, it will help heal and nourish the skin to, like, keep it from being, like, cracky and bloody and gross. But no, he didn't want to use it. Like, I can't even get him to use, like, Bath and Body Works hand soap. He won't even use that. He doesn't like the fragrances. He doesn't say, he says that it doesn't clean his hands well and a whole bunch of nonsense, in my opinion. Okay, so it looks like the answer for the Facebook event for Kathleen & Co. is July 23rd. Is that their polish pickup rewind thing or is that something else? Because I do not know. I've been trying to steer clear of brand Facebook groups and Instagram pages so I wouldn't spend more money. Because this happened. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what else I was saying. So we are okay with the one finger swatch. That's fine. Because I think I might do that for these. Because I want to feel justified in purchasing things instead of just stuffing them into a drawer. But I know I do want to do full hand swatches on the Zoyas. It's for Ghost Manor to be available. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nope, I'm not. I was just about to head over to Facebook to set a reminder, but no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Alright, I think I'm going to dip out now. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, next, yeah, the next video should be going up either tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on what happens tomorrow and today, because I've got editing to do today. Um, so yeah, I never know how to end these things. <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know. So yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Happy 4th of July if you're planning on celebrating. If you're not, that's fine too. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will just talk to you all in the next video. Bye! Uh, how do I end this? I always forget. Do, 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 do.